I hope you're ready for the most amazing vlog of your life. This vlog would even blow soap out the water. So basically today I am doing a hee haw, absolutely nothing. And because I decided that when I hit 10k I'm going to challenge myself to upload daily, I'm not going to be doing something every day of the week. So the idea behind vlogging today when I'm doing absolutely jack shit is to try and make an entertaining video when I'm doing absolutely jack shit. I would like to introduce... See when I make my standstill camera videos, so like I've set up the camera, I use this rig. I've got like a DSLR monitor, a fancy microphone, a cage, a stand, a slider, a tripod, some cans of Strongbow. Cause, well, you can't make the video without the cans, I mean, they're almost as important as the fucking camera. I don't know about you, but it seems like all my stuff just literally grows legs and runs like fuck. I put my wallet down and I don't even know where I put it. How can you lose your wallet? I mean like, where the hell is it? Found it. Doesn't change the fact it's still bloody empty though. Allow me to introduce you to my Canon DSLR. You're curious as to what I'm going to do today in order to make an interesting video? Well, you've got no fucking idea. Neither do I, to be honest. What I'm thinking is I'll go up round the town in Falkirk and I'll take my Canon DSLR with me and then I'll be able to video some stuff and get some shots of the town, some time lapses, capture the beautiful side of Falkirk. It might be hard to find, but trust me, people have said there is a nice side to Falkirk. Somewhere. I, I, I don't know. I think this is the first time I'll actually be out and about videoing and filming in my hometown. So you might be wondering, Batchy, you said you were going to take us up and show us around the town and get some scenic shots and... So you might be wondering... Why we've come to the Tesco car park? I... I... I, I don't... I don't know. It's actually quite windy out and about in the town today, so this could be fucking interesting. Also, the Tesco car park is pretty scenic, so I suppose... So I finally caved and bought Call of Duty Remastered. Getting some beautiful time lapse shots. You asked me, so we just walked around the town, filmed a wee bit, and now we're going home again. It's amazing the funny looks you get from people when you're walking around filming, especially in Falkirk. People are totally not used to the concept. It's like, what is that weird cunt talk to his phone? Look, you've no idea how hard it is to make a non interesting day look interesting. L literally, I just got up, left the house, and walked around the town. I think I know where we could go though. What the hell? How could the fucking fuel light be on? I've driven from my house to the town and then back again and I've fucking went for quarter of a tank to the fuel light being on. How much? Do you know how I said I know where we can go? This wasn't it. This is a stop off before where I know we can go. Just in case you're curious because you'd be like, I know where you can go and then you end up going to the co-op. No, that, that's, that's not what's happening here. I literally just needed to stop off and get a drink of juice because I'm fucking thirsty. Alright. <laughs> nah, much better. <laughs> I bought some extra iron brew. Get it? Do you get it? Please tell me you get it. That was a good joke. I'm so sick of hearing this song. It's literally on the radio every day. It's a good song. Don't get me wrong, it's catchy, but it fucking annoys the show. Nah, 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 nah. I met her doing George's Square at about half past three. She was fucking steaming. I think I was too. Ed Sheeran is shiting himself right about now. I should be a fucking rapper. <laughs> It's literally just taking me about 45 minutes to move down a 5 minute stretch of road. Scotland's biggest car park. Graham's Road, Falkirk. I learned my lesson for that fucking heater anyway. I'll be stepping over that. Gary! So Gary, your calendar's actually on the right month for a change. Nothing to do with the fact that I had to set it up for you or anything like that, you know what I mean? Well, since that you drank on my fucking cider. That was an accident. I did not intend for that to happen. Mister, I'm bringing my car to watch the football. I'm not drinking. Aye, five o'clock in the bath morning, you went off. Again. <laughs> <laughs> you got any cans, Gary? Last time I came into your house, the fucking calendar was wrong. Now the battery's dead in the clock and you've not even been asked to change it. What the fuck? What's the point in having a clock and a calendar when you're not even going to keep them in purpose? What's the point? I'm just in the house. The clock's not working. I'm not a fucking chance. Settle. Come on, Gary. Let's go. fucking get your ass out the fucking... Come on. Hurry up. I'm hungry for my Nando's, you That fucking heater again? I went out my way to avoid it when I came in and I tripped on it on the way out. I swear to God, man, that is a hazard. Get that moved. That sh Why is that lying in the middle of the flare? You're asking for trouble. Fanny. Fucking idiot. Shut up, you dick. We're about to make another Nando's Converti. 
I was going to say, if I don't convert you to Nando's, I'll give you money, but you'll just lie just so that I give you money, so we're not doing that game. <laughs> I've actually converted everybody that I've taken out to Nando's so far, so this is this is going to be another one. Watch this space. We'll get his reaction as he takes the first bite of chicken and he just smiles into one of those creepy smiles and we're like, that's the that's the tell, that's the tell. He will be a convertee. Nando's, 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 Nando's. Nando's. Why does it always overfill the glass? I know you love a bit of coke, so... Why do you look so serious, Gary? Huh? Just doing a bit of... shopping. A bit of shopping? Yeah. We're out at Nando's here, shop. <laughs> what? <laughs> such a fucking weird... Nando's! Got him! You're fighting back the smile, I can see it! <laughs> What do you think then, Gary? I was walking away there trying to get the Nando's sign on screen that looks like I just came out of Hobbycraft. Honestly, I'm not into stitching and sewing, I swear down. The only fucking stitching, I'll be doing is stitching you to the wall. That doesn't even make sense. So how did you enjoy your first Nando's? That was alright. Such a fucking miserable dude, right. bastard. Oh, I love me some Nando's. Why is there a... There's like a pure cat just staring at me. Why is this cat just awkwardly standing in there, creeping me out? The big man seems to know this cat. Make it, oh, there's mayor, there's another one. <laughs> it's, it's like one of those mad horror films where you walk through a town and like all the townspeople are pure staring out the window at you, except this time it's cats. Oh, there's another one away in the distance. What is, what is with all the cats? <sighs> Gary, I'm just about trapped over that heater again, mate. Go on and sort yourself out. You pure. Put it in the most awkward place possible. It's always been there, but six months. Aye, but it still trips me up every fucking time! Because you're a fan. I see your thermostat's very happy with itself. That's probably a bit better to see it. Subscribe to Betty on YouTube! <laughs> I love how that's still there after the last time I was here. So is the picture of the cock right enough. I think he keeps those artworks so that one day he can sell them. Famous artist Batchy. Because see when my art skills are finally recognised by the rest of the world my, my ability to draw really shitly drawn cocks and whiteboards When that's worldly renowned and there's only a few, few items of cocks left remaining on whiteboards Because everyone else has rubbed them off That'll be worth a fortune you will be able to auction that I'll go and get me rub in there uh -huh. I'll, go, I'll go and rub your cock for you <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going before this gets even weirder Right big man, see you later Yeah. Bye yeah, now Home sweet home. Fuck you, fuck you, man, yeah. I literally came just out the back of Big Gary's house there and like all the cats were standing like in a group and then they immediately scattered and ran away. It was like, see when you walk outside and catch some wee wains outside trying to take a puff of a fag and they all just fucking shite themselves and scatter when somebody comes. That's what it was like. I don't know if they were all trying to shag each other or what was going on, but it was really fucking weird. Oh, so I keep a pair of football boots in my car. You know, just in case I ever need to go and play an emergency game of football for whatever reason. Do you remember how I told you in the last video that my son was writing his Lego, right? Well, he's got the Lego dimensions, right? Not only that, but he's also got hundreds and millions upon thousands of tiny wee models of Lego. Like, look at this shit. I mean, what even is this? this... <sighs> I mean, this is literally just a shelf of dedicated built Lego models. He's got like, all this Lego here, all this here, all this here. It's also got more models up on this shelf here. There's an absolute box full of Lego under there. That big box is all Lego. And that's just the stuff he's opened. He's genuinely got unopened boxes of stuff as well. I don't understand how you can need so much Lego in your life. Welcome to Batchy's vlog where all I do is moan about how much Lego my laddies got. Because I'm an aged old bastard. Apparently I look 50. 50. People tell me I'll... Do I look 50? Do I look 50? Just be fucking careful how you answer that question. It is absolutely pissing it down with rain outside, but here I am, going out of my way to go to the Kelpies to give you guys some vlog material. Give you something worthwhile watching to provide entertainment. The Kelpies is like one of those mad things that, like, I live really close to it, but, like, I don't give a shit. People travel all over the world to see these mad horses' heads, but, like, I don't care. See, I told you I'd bring you to the Kelpies. 
pissing me rain. I, I don't even know if I want to get out the car. Oh, it's so wet outside. Oh, I don't like the rain. Fine, I'll get out the car and I'll take you closer to the Kelpies. But I'm doing it with my phone. The DSLR's getting left here because it'll get fucking soaked. I realise not one of you suggested that I come to the Kelpies. Nobody asked me to do it. Nobody forced me out of the car into the pissing rain. But I just really wanted those horses' heads for a thumbnail because clickbait, yo. That's gen it's genuinely not clickbait. I, ju I just want to go and look at the horse's head. Uh, that that's what I meant to say. We'll go with that. Look at the size of their heads, man. They're fucking giant, man. I've walked out here by myself in the pissing rain to go and look at some horses buried up to their fucking neck. <sighs> I'm not a miserable bastard, honest. Again, we're going to go for the opposite of syndicate. Big jobbies in the ground. How shite do they look? Does it look like I'm feeding the horse? Does it? It looks like I'm feeding the horse, doesn't it? I'm feeding the horse. I need to fucking feed my own self-esteem because this is fucking depressing. I'm absolutely freezing. It's fucking wet. Why have I walked all the way over here to look at some horses? I don't fucking know. If you've never been to the Kelpies before, you don't need to go now. You've seen everything that there is to see. Apart from the random boats that go along the side of the canal there, they've genuinely got the bins covered in pictures of the horse heads. I mean, it's just two fucking horses' heads. It's not like it's anything miraculous. I mean, it doesn't do anything amazing. It's just two horses' heads buried in the ground. I know I'm making a big deal out of this rain thing, but I was born in Scotland. I'm used to this shit. You know that way when you say to yourself that you've never been more prepared for anything in your life? I don't think I knew what life was like without a jacket until I was at least 14. I look like a drowned rat. I'm sorry. Well, that's the Kelpies. Uh, obviously quite a lot to see there. Managed to fit it into a full 10 section segment of film. You spend more time walking there than you do looking the fucking things. It's bloody cold and wet. Let's get back in the car. <sighs> I'm wetter than pyrocynical for fucking clickbait. This is ridiculous. Been meaning to change those window wipers for fucking ages. I've actually got a set in the back seat. I just, I just can't be arsed. I don't know why I'm wearing my son's Pokemon hat. The only thing I'm likely to catch is the cold. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, fuck it, I'm going in. I never said I'm the nicest guy in the world, but I'd rather die for my girl. I'ma buy her diamonds and pearls. And that don't mean that she's materialistic. I know she fell in love with me, cause I'm a lyrical misfit. We staring the whip and the sunshine and cheering and singing. He's saying, I'm in love with the shape of you.